Rumors about the demise of Comet A3 Tsukinchen Atlas were premature. In early 2024, there were reports that the comet was breaking up. Instead, the comet appeared in the sky this morning and appears to be in good condition. Its current brightness is such that it is visible to the naked eye from a dark location on land magnitude of 5.5. It should now be visible through ordinary binoculars, and it's getting brighter. In late September, observe sextants on the eastern horizon about an hour before the sun rises in the morning sky. Use binoculars or a telescope to find the comet. Currently, Sukhinchen Atlas is very dim, making it difficult to see with the naked eye. It will also probably be impossible to see the comet from the center of a large city, so try to go somewhere with a little less light pollution. A more productive option would be to wait until Tsukinchen Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth next month. On this day, the comet will again approach the discovery position, but this time within the boundaries of Virgo. To find it, point your binoculars or telescope or just your eyes. At a little over 4 degrees southwest of M5, the comet will then swiftly pass through Serpents and enter Ophiuchus on the 19th. On October 28th, it will be directly south of Ophiuchus' second brightest star, Sibelrai magnitude to 0.8. Tsukinchen ATLAS is currently located in Sextant, rising an hour before the sun for observers in the northern hemisphere. It will reach perihelion closest approach to the sun on September 27th, when it will be 58.6 million kilometers away from the day star. It will make its closest approach to Earth on October 14th, it will be 70.7 .7 million kilometers away on that day. The comet won't appear high in the sky, so make sure you go to a place where you can get a good view of the horizon. Allow your eyes a few minutes to adjust to the darkness. If you use both eyes, try to look slightly above the comet instead of keeping it in the center of your field of view. This avoidance vision technique allows you to see fine details better in the dark.